What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B. You watch the Dave B on TV where we go beyond the everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. And today I want to talk a little bit. I'm talking low because <laughs> I hear people around. Not that it matters, but I'm just like, it's early in the morning. <clears throat> I'm just not trying to, you know what I'm saying, over project my voice to be honest. I'm still waking up, but I want to make a quick video about how to free yourself from emotional distress. And so, you know, what I mean by that, you know, especially for my water signs, you know what I'm saying? We connected to everything. And so a lot of times we create scenarios in which, you know, we be going through something, but maybe you catch certain glimpses of certain energies, right? And these, you know, when you start talking about emotions and feelings, these are more tapped into the unseen realm. So these are things that other people aren't necessarily picking up on, but being that you water or just, you know, I mean, water signs is not the only ones with feelings. Like, you know what I'm saying? Other signs catch feelings and things of that nature. But I'm speaking from my own, you know what I'm saying? Because I know as far as emotional distress, see, a water sign, what makes them different is that they'll internalize something and create kind of like a glass uh, wall, you know what I'm saying? Where they're so encapsulated by their own feeling that they can't actually get out and express or get through that glass wall. It's like a barrier that keeps them from either being their authentic self or saying everything on their mind, you know what I'm saying? And so it results in many different things, you know what I'm saying? It, it plays out in many different ways. I'm hearing all kinds of noises. That's why I'm looking around like that. But, you know, it plays out in a multitude of different ways. And so, you know, you got to kind of be... Uh, just aware of your really you're always going to be aware of your own feeling and your own mood but at the end of the day there's also times where you have to break free from that you know what i'm saying because like i said emotional distress is like when you put yourself through certain emotional turmoil when that's not really necessarily needed and, and a lot of times like i said with that glass barrier effect it puts you in a lot of situations where you miss out on opportunities or you end up being incapable of, you know, doing certain things and you, you, you find it more difficult to get out and be yourself. When in this world, if you don't speak up and be yourself, you lose, you know what I'm saying? You lose, and, and, and especially during this time period, because this time period is causing a lot of people to kind of go through um, transformations, uh, very independent and singular transformations, but you know, a lot, it's like everything is on a selfish tip, but we are dealing with energies that want us to connect, you know what I'm saying, just everything right now, currently, sextile and that Aquarius energy, so we, we, we going through, independent, like, we in very new spaces with this Aries energy, very singular minded, very uh, cardinal on our own uh, vision, you know what I'm saying, so we're trying to get things popping, but then there's a there's a lot of opportunities being mustered up just by being connected to certain associations and shit like that with that Aquarius energy and stuff. So those opportunities, which was once to go for, and us being just in the age of Aquarius, theoretically, because, um, you know, but I'm not going to get into that. But us just being, okay, I have to see where the fuck that shit was. Us just being in that energy in general, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it creates a scenario where, you know, we, um, it's kind of difficult, like, it's like, it's it's kind of hard to get along, you know what I'm saying, just because of the rate, and then, and then now with energy starting to creep into that tourist space with Uranus there, it's like, things are moving at such a rapid pace, but at the same time, you know, uh, especially with this, um, Especially with this, uh, you know, going into tourist season, there's going to be a lot of situations where we're going to want to act on some more of that Venus energy. But, you know, it's going to be more and more difficult just based upon the situations that we've manifested ourselves now and the new lives we've chosen to, to, to go through. Because, you know, in these, in these new scenarios, it really is on some shit where it's like a new life. You know what I'm saying? Like the same things you was doing a couple months ago, you you most likely not doing that, you know, but I say all that just to say, you know, with this energy in general, um, well, let's just go back to the topic, you know, being emotional distress, um, how to free yourself from that, so first of all, you know, 
you got to realize that what you feeling ain't necessarily the reality. But that doesn't mean it ain't real. It's, it, it's your reality. It's your space that you in. So you have to look at it like this. It's like you have to be able to first size it up because I'll tell you right now, it's all about, it's really all about discernment. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, some things are real to the point where you do have to address them, you know what I'm saying, head on. You know, and some things are just what you feel and it's, it causes the space you in. And you don't even realize that you creating the, the, uh, the, the, you creating the uh, problem. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people create their own problems. I mean, really, we all create our own problems in theory. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. We all create our own problems. Like, at the end of the day, we manifest our own situations and circumstances that we're forced to deal with. And all that manifestation comes from our moon and shit like that. But when it comes to distress and emotional distress, it's like we, we put ourselves through hell for no reason. See, the, the how you get out of emotional distress is really by starting to kind of step outside of yourself, right? And just be like, you know, because... It's like certain feelings will lead you to certain thought forms and certain thought forms in that space will make you feel like you know how other people feel about you. But the truth of the matter is, one, it doesn't it, one, you don't know Two, it doesn't matter. You know, so how somebody else feel about you is like it's like you it, getting lost in that is one of the fastest way to put yourself behind that glass barrier where now you are afraid to even express yourself or put anything out into the world to change a perception. You know, because that's the thing is like we all we all judge, even though we know better than that. We all judge. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a natural thing to do. Like we all have a point of view. We all have a stance on something. So, of course, when we're interacting in the world, we going to see how other people move and compare and contrast that to our view. And not everybody going to like your way of doing shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, a lot of people get swept up in that and they take that to heart and they make that part of their identity it becomes an insecurity that becomes part of their identity it becomes it becomes a demon that starts to chase them you know aka a thought and feeling that they just can't escape because everything they they do they refer back to that scary ass thought you know what i'm saying and that can be tied in with they lilith and shit like that all kinds of different shit but the whole point of just saying is like the way to free yourself from emotional distress is first it's, just, it's easy said it's easy to say it, you know what I'm saying? Harder to do it. You know, just stop giving a fuck about that shit. But it's like, you really got to be on some shit where you realize, like, you got to be able to, it's like you have to develop a certain relationship with yourself where you can accept some of the shit that you just can't change about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, we all can change, but there's certain things that, that correlate with your energy that you just like, look, this is part of me. You know what I'm saying? This is a part of me, and I can't be afraid to be hurt. Like, like, or not even be afraid to be hurt, but I can't allow, if this is a part of me, I can't allow anything that attacks this to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? We have to start protecting ourselves in that manner, where we accept our own selves, and we love ourselves to the point where, even if it's something that everybody else in the world hate, if we, if we accept it as part of us, then you got to just be able to rock with that shit and say, you know what, no matter what anybody says, I'm going to love this part of me. In fact, it's like I, I would go so much as to say, like, really, when you start to feel emotional distress, you have to go and pinpoint what it is that's actually causing the distress. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to talk to yourself like a real person uh, or a real being like your best friend or your parent. Got to talk to your emotions and feelings like your parent because your emotions and feelings is not really yours. You know, we catch these things, but it's like after a while, especially when you start to be more and more spiritually inclined, you, you start to know the type of thoughts and feelings you like to keep around you. And so these things have become your kids. You like I'm raising these motherfuckers like certain emotions and feelings that become your energy signature and things of that nature. It's like these are things that you start to grow familiar with. And these are the same. Uh, got some on my lip. No. 
these become the same entities and shit like that and, and, and that you start to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like these emotions and feelings and, they, and you, you got to water those seeds and, and, and help them grow. They become your parents. And sh- I mean, your, not your parents, <laughs> but your kids. You become the parent of your thoughts and feelings. And so it's like it comes down to the point where when certain things is causing emotional distress, you need to be wise enough and, and mature enough to be able to go to those places and, and ask, like, ask yourself, like, hey, what, what, what's causing me to feel this way? And when you start to pinpoint different causes and things of that nature, then it's a matter of neutralizing it, looking at it and not taking it personal, but understanding it and adding a little bit of empathy and care, um, empathy in a matter of allowing yourself to feel how you feel and then accepting the fact that, hey, this is a sore spot, a soft spot. It needs a little healing, a little attentiveness, a little care. You know, it's almost like using that cancer energy to kind of address it because that's 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 kind of like the nature of cancer, really. You know, I, I feel like people get cancer fucked up because, you know, that or cancers get themselves fucked up because a lot of cancers be on demon time. But it's 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 because, you know, it, but I ain't gonna say why. Well, it's it's because I don't know why, you know what I'm saying? But what I can say is just, you know, that cancer energy is powerful in the sense of you, you know, that's the emotions and feelings that can have that has the ability to change. And that's that's where they fuck up is because they 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 have the ability to change how they feel. But they like to sit on some moodiness and shift feelings rather than like push off feelings. So they'll push off negative feelings on an external tip rather than changing how they feel because everything is like everything starts with the internal so a lot of times when you see signs making mistakes it's because they spent too much time externalizing their gift when you spend too much in, in externalizing your gift in the sense of like for instance it's like a scorpio a, a, a negative scorpio is just a scorpio who manipulates externally when they have the power to manipulate their own emotions and feelings and go through their own transformations to get to a space where they can interact with people instead they or or they can get people to do what they want like where it's like a manipulation but it, it's not negative because all they did was manipulate their own energy to fit a certain frequency and vibration you know what i'm saying um the same thing with cancers cancers pushing out an emotion and feeling or a mood in order to shift the mood and vibration of the room when really they could have just shifted how they felt and then that could have put them in a different situation where people around them started to be affected by their by their by their initiating and creating of a new feeling. You know what I'm saying? And so on and so forth. That's that's a lot of these signs. You know, a lot of these signs. The only problem is y'all be externalizing everything. You know what I'm saying? This world is is internal first. You know what I'm saying? So it, it'd be a lot of situations and circumstances where it's like, damn, like, what are you actually doing with yourself? You know? But, um, yeah, like, like I was saying back to, back to the topic, you know, emotional distress and things of that nature. So when it comes down to it, you know, it's a matter of, you gotta, you gotta be just like, you gotta, you gotta, you know, I don't know. I've been doing some shit where lately I've been slowing down, just slowing down how I feel about everything. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I got a lot of energies that, that'll make me jump the gun in a second. You know what I'm saying? I got the moon and Mars and Leo and shit like that in the ninth house. I, I, I'll be on some shit where, you know, certain emotions and feelings that just take me to a place where I just feel like the only thing to do is express myself and shit like that. With all these squares and shit like that, with the, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm kind of like kind of going through a transformation myself of how I express myself. But for the most part, what I will say is that, you know, sometimes you do got to, when you catch feelings, you got to slow down and just like, because we, we, there's so many, especially now, it's like, I feel like sometimes like so many things are thrown at us, especially emotion wise, where it's hard to even know what parts of you is like real and what's not, you know what I'm saying? Like if you don't take the proper time to address certain things and, and ask yourself like, what's really my issue? What's really bothering me about this? You know what I'm saying? Because everything happens for a reason and you wouldn't be feeling certain feelings for no reason and but see sometimes we can get lost in trying to find a reason sometimes you got to sit back and allow a reason to come to you but in the forefront looking at an emotion and feeling being like look this emotion and feeling i gotta address this on just a personal healing tip the answers is always gonna come but the answers sometimes take a quite a little bit longer like they say 2020 is high in hindsight hindsight is 2020 whatever they say and so it becomes a matter of you just recognize it it's like on two levels on one level it's like 
you have to address that shit on just your own self-healing in the moment. Or, you know what I'm saying? And then over time, the second process comes in where you actually accumulate the wisdom and knowledge of why you even went through that. You know, motherfuckers be looking for the answer the second something happens. And it's like, you're not going to do nothing but frustrate yourself or prejudge an answer. And that's even worse because you fuck around and think you solve something. But then later down the line, a cycle will come back up and you'll fall right back into the same problem because you haven't taken the time to really heal through that. And also you didn't address it the right way Because when you address things with yourself See a lot of times when we start to feel bad We want to address it with a, a hard answer So we never feel like that again But that's unrealistic A lot of times you have to ease your way into being comfortable with a feeling And it ease your way, or and even if it's a feeling that you are transforming and actively killing A thought that you're getting rid of You have to replace it with something that's a lot more sufficient and see, sometimes that takes a while to cultivate because, you know, a lot of people will kill a bunch of emotions and feelings and thoughts all day, but they exhaust themselves because they're not actually healing nothing. They're not replacing it with something that's more sufficient, a thought form that they can actually cling to that'll get them to a better place spiritually. You feel me? And so that that all that is also um, parts of emotional um, distress because this is the type of individual, like I said, who will exhaust themselves externally or always fall for the okie doke. Every now and then it's like they, they, they be like, oh, I'm over it. But every second bringing the same thing up in the same way, you know what I'm saying? In the same in the same tone and shit like that. So it becomes a matter of you just, it, it's you know, and it's ain't nothing. I won't say, you know, right or wrong don't exist. I'm, I'm just speaking on some shit that. You know, I feel as though everybody goes through on some level. Because like I said, even if you're not a water sign, like, we all go, we all got emotions and feelings. Even if you the coldest Capricorn in the world, we all got emotions and feelings. You know, they just, you know, they represent themselves in different ways. But, you know, the process is the same. You know what I'm saying? Even even for more of the more materialistic signs and shit like that, you know. Y'all, y'all take certain things to heart too. It just it, it centers around physical shit, and that goes the same for that. You can't internalize not having external resources. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at it like you got to create a sufficient enough feeling within yourself to 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 allow you the space to even manifest more things in your favor. You know what I'm saying? And that's all it's about. You know, emotional distress, that glass cage, it keeps you from being yourself and that ultimately keeps you from your manifestations. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a process like that where, you know, the smallest things be affected. You know, the smallest things with the biggest impact. Because you'll think it's just a feeling that you got and you'll let that feeling take you everywhere and back. But then when you come back, you realize, damn, I ain't even get no souvenirs. Like, I ain't even go nowhere I wanted to go. I didn't get no souvenirs. I didn't have no fun. I was just on along for the ride and shit like that. And, like, unfortunately, a lot of people, before you even know it, you done went all across the world and, and not actually resolved anything and just be sitting on a big pile of regret or just, you know, being in a space where you have to force yourself to accept something that you knew could have went better. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if y'all have any questions. I'm doing something a little different this this month. I'm gonna get more into it, but just stay on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm kind of switching things up. I'm still at this uh, location, but um, I'm trying to come up with certain ideas and uh, plans for some projects and stuff like that. But um, in the meantime, though, if you do need some some help with anything, you know what I'm saying? Because even though I do natal readings and business consultations, but I also just, you know, uh, do advice, you know what I'm saying? But advice from a space that's not me telling you what to do, but just, you know, sometimes some people just need to talk and vent. I'll say I'm a, you know, fantastic listener. So I'll listen and then we can just chop it up upon like, you know, I'll look at your chart and we can chop it up upon, you know what I'm saying? Certain energies that you might be in and certain causes for certain things that you might be going through just on some self-help tip, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or me helping and not self-help, but me helping, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I really, I, I got that energy where I, I just like to help. And a lot of times, like I can, I can see certain things, you know, and, and we all, we all see these things, but sometimes it's harder for you to get a grasp of something when you going through it. You know, sometimes you need that external viewpoint to just be like, Hey, you could do this, you know, this might be the cause of this, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's not me telling you what to do. It's, uh, you know, you 
getting everything off your chest and me just kind of being there to talk you through a situation scenario whatever it may be it could be business it could be personal whatever it is you know what i'm saying and of course all confidentiality and all that you know what i'm saying but i ain't even gotta say that you know what i'm saying it's all respect on the side so much love to all y'all shout out to the soul group and shit like that look you know it's just word what everybody been talking about and shit like that look you know what i'm saying we gotta we gotta be real you know what i'm saying we gotta be real and we gotta be careful out here you know what I'm saying, but, you know, it's in focus on the mission, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace and much love.